medium man, physical medium man, physical medium man. What you buy? Was it something good? What's up, guys? Physical medium man back here again for another physical medium man Monday video. I have my soundtracks collection. This might be a part one of two, or it might be all together. Um, I also have all my records over here that are soundtracks. Um, so depending on length, I might include those in this or might make a part two. But before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do a lot of good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram page, my physical media man store Instagram page, my Facebook page for the physical media man slash physical media man store, my Facebook page for non-media related items, the HodgePodge Garage, my email, my eBay, my Twitter, my Letterbox account, uh, my website where you can get merch, and my Amazon wish list, wish list of movies I'm after. Okay, so I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I've been talking about it for a while. Um, I've really got into getting more soundtracks here recently. Um, I'm going to blame Lewis Switcher a little bit for that. Um, but a lot of my favorite movies are... are or ones that I didn't realize had soundtracks I could find and things like that. And I've, I've got a lot of them um, just searching eBay, but also some I've gotten pretty cheap at Goodwill. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I am going to show off one cassette. Um, listen to the, this a lot growing up. Um, I have this on all formats, basically. Um, just such a great soundtrack um, with the score by Jerry Goldsmith. We got Rudy on cassette. So this was my parents' copy, so I kind of um, cabbaged on to it. No one really uses cassettes anymore, but um, yeah, wanted to, to keep that for the collection for sure. And there are some um, not specific movie ones, but like uh, some compilation type of things that are movie related. So I'll show those too. So. Anyways, um, first up is one I recently got. I really enjoyed the music for. Um, got a good deal on eBay. It was going for a lot because um, this is a uh, limited to a thousand copies. We got the soundtrack to Cops and Robbers. Um, some of these are sealed. I haven't decided if I'm going to open them yet or not. Um, here we got the Wedding Singer Volume Two, still sealed. Um, I was trying to get a lot of the Sandler stuff. Um, You'll kind of see this too. I've also been trying to get a lot of the Disney um, titles, especially because they have a lot of original music and it's not um, other songs you can get on other albums. Um, so we got Coco. I was also trying to get all the Star Wars ones. Um, so here we got The Last Jedi. I actually got these from Toys R Us when they were going out of business. And then The Force Awakens. So those are still sealed. Um, here we got Frozen, the songs, which they, I have them both, which is kind of silly. Um, they have their regular soundtrack with all of um, the titles on it, and then they have one that just has the songs. Here we got um, Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Awesome Mix Volume 1, which is awesome that they um, made it like this. And, and music's such a big um, role in this movie, so... Um, really wanted to have those in in my uh, collection. Uh, next up, we got Aladdin, Clueless, which has good music, and this was only fifty cents. Um, I was also kind of trying to get some of the key uh, John Cusack films uh, soundtracks because he does a lot with um, picking the music and stuff, um, and they usually have good music. So we got Gr Gross Point Blank, which I need to upgrade to Blu-ray. Um, Dazed and Confused, a really good soundtrack. Um, this one we also had on cassette growing up. We got music um, from the Titanic, and I actually didn't watch the Titanic until college, so I had listened to the soundtrack and never watched the movie. Uh, one of my favorite Disney ones, we got Beauty and the Beast. That's um, Mission Impossible with uh, Danny Elfman. Um, some Mulan. Here we got, I rebought this, so you might see this again. Um, so we got Batman Forever, and um, this was one of my first CDs. And um, the I don't know if I lost the artwork. I still have the disc for sure in the back. I think the, the front of the case broke, so um, I rebought it. You got some Pocahontas. 
uh, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Uh, Smallville. Used to watch this when it originally aired, and remember liking the the main theme quite a bit. And here, this is pretty neat. So this is one that's not a particular movie, but it's John Williams' greatest hits, 1969 to 1999, and it's got this cool little thing that looks like a film reel that goes over it, and it's a two-disc um, set. So I really wanted to get that. And he's one of the best, if not the best. Um, here we got Little Bow Wow and uh, Like Mike. Um, remember really enjoying this movie and watching it a lot. And I remember um, I watched this in Washington, D.C., and the, the crowd was singing some of the songs. So I have a memory there. Yeah, and I noticed uh, when I went through all these, I, I purchased a couple of them a couple times. So here we got Titanic again. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I'll sell it real cheap. Um, here we got Bat, or Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know. I haven't watched the show, but I um, figured I'd grab that because it looked kind of neat. Oh. Just through Jungle Book. All right, here we got the the Jungle Book remake. Uh, Pitch Perch, Pitch Perfect, which uh, my life my wife enjoys, um, and I do like uh, Cups by Anna Kendrick on this one. We got some Stranger Things, Black Panther. Here's another compilation one. We got Movie Music, The Definitive Performances, which is kind of neat. Another two disc set. Um, we got Ghost Simp Sonic with The Simpsons. And this is more original music from the television series. We got The Sopranos, which is a show I haven't watched yet. I need to, to watch that sometime. Here we got Wayne's World. Great music in that one. Another one where music's a big role in the movie. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Love the soundtrack. It's a great one if you haven't um, listened to it. We got some Fantasia. Got some Braveheart. Home Alone Christmas, which is one that I grew up with as well. And I don't know if this isn't necessarily a soundtrack, but it's music from... Uh, the first couple movies, and I really, really enjoy this one. Um, I guess those kind of got split up. I have a trilogy set here with this Star Wars trilogy, the original soundtrack anthology. This actually came, came in a box or something like that, which I don't have. I just have the, the CD releases. Um, and then we got some Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Suicide Squad, the album. Uh, Moana. Uh, High Fidelity, another one where music's such a big role in the film. And then here's another one, same thing, Empire Records. And we got some Grey's Anatomy original soundtrack. My wife enjoys the show, I haven't watched it. Uh, we got Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Batman with music by Prince. Um, we got Carlitos Way, not quite sure why I have this one, but uh, another person I wanted, kind of similar to Cusack, I feel like Quentin Tarantino uh, really chooses his music wisely for his films, though Cusack's not a director, but um, Tarantino actually picks himself, and, and this actually has some uh, dialogue and stuff in it, so um, definitely wanted to get that one. Here we got the Simpsons Songs in the Key of Springfield, original music from the television series. Here's some more. This is um, outtakes and previously unreleased music from the original trilogy of Star Wars. Here's uh, Return of the Jedi and The Empire Strikes Back. And then we got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, um, Disney's Greatest Volume 2, which is a compilation from Disney movies. Wow. This is one of my favorites. We got D3, The Mighty Ducks, but it does have um, music from at least the first, yeah, both the first two. It's got music from all three because, um, so Grade 9, Bare Naked Ladies is in the third one. Um, but Hey Man by the Poor Boys 
is the song that Emilio is listening to um, as he's getting pulled over for his DUI. Um, Good Vibrations, I think, is in the first one. Accentuate the Positive is in the second, I believe. Um, we Will Rock You is in the second, I think. Uh, but it also has some of the the, um, the score, which is amazing. Um, I wish there was a record with um, some of that on it, or this on it. or They just made a... Um, a set that had music from all three, which this kind of is. I just wish it was packaged different or something, um, but I'm so happy to have that one in the collection. Um, another sports one I'm real excited about, we got the Sandlot, um, which the main theme's really great. Um, this is uh, limited to 1,500 units, uh, put out by La La Land Records. Uh, next up we got Peter Pan. So yeah, a lot of them are ones that I just think the music course is so good but it, it plays such a big role in the film so here we got Dirty Dancing another one that's just great movie great music um, here we got Leonard Maltin's Critics Choice favorite movie uh, themes so I included that in this video um, another one I recently got that I couldn't believe I finally tracked down another one by La La Land Records this is Home Alone music composed and conducted by John Williams and it's a two disc set um, so yeah that one was limited to 5,000 units, but um, I love Home Alone, so so happy to have that one. Here we got My Girl, some more Macaulay Culkin, um, The Full Monty, uh, Free Willy. Had that one for a while, too, and uh, really loved the theme in the Michael Jackson song. Uh, here we got Howard Stern Private Parts, um, American Pie. Got that for the Blink-182 song. Got some Bad Boys 2. Shake Your Tail Feather. Uh, the Graduate with uh, Simon and Garfunkel music. Another one with great, great music. Um, Jurassic Park, another one of my favorites with uh, John Williams music. Um, I did include a couple plays, um, which might be somewhat of a stretch. So we got the Come, Come From Away. Um, original Broadway cast recording um, saw that in person and it was great so um, next up we got the Blues Brothers original soundtrack um, this one I just bought because it's music by Jack Johnson um, but it, it is um, from a film so we got Thicker Than Water uh, Juno Animal House you can kind of see a trend here of what I'm going after. Uh, Pretty Woman. Braveheart for the second time. Hamilton. Disney Greatest Volume 1. Um, here's a set that I recently picked up um, and I was so excited to grab. We got Chef and Chef Volume 2. George of the Jungle. I'm Not There. And I picked that up for the Bob Dylan music and um, covers. Uh, singles, which I feel like the soundtrack's better than the movie. Space Jam, I think, was my very first CD. Um, 300. Elf. Euro Trip. Eight Mile. Tarzan. A uh, two-disc set, uh, Forrest Gump. Great music in that one, of course. Uh, Gone 60 Seconds. Men in Black. We're getting there. It might include records. I don't know. We'll see. The Lion King. Lilo and Stitch. Another one I recently... These next two I recently picked up and um, couldn't believe I got for a good price. We got Rookie of the Year and The Scout. Um both with music by Bill Conti. Um, they also, they were both put out um, by, I still don't know how to say that. Anyways, they are put out by the same company and they also both include um, other, so this one has Dreamer and The Scout. And this one has Rookie of the Year, A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon and Bushwhacked. 
So I bought them for Rookie of the Year in the Scout, but anyways. Um, we got Crossroads. Big Britney Spears fan, so I got that. Um, this one I recently grabbed on eBay too that I couldn't believe, didn't know it had the, uh, a release like this. We got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, which I always wondered what the song was. It's MC Hammer um, when they're at the the Foot Clan's I don't hang out type thing. Um, we got some Encanto. Now and then. Reservoir Dogs, so some more Tarantino. Uh, the Italian Job. Wild, which uh, after watching that, I almost instantly bought the soundtrack. Um, 101 Dalmatians. Uh, Wayne's World 2. I had trouble with one of the Dirty Dancing uh, discs, so I bought it again. So that one I bought on purpose twice. Uh, the Three Musketeers, which is one of my childhood favorites. Um, cool Runnings. We got 101 Dalmatians. The Last of the Mohicans. I think I have that twice because Lewis Switcher picked this one up for me, so I appreciate that. Uh, Clerks. Back to the Future. Also another Lewis Switcher and X Teen Featurette donation. Um, Pump Up the Volume, which I'm a huge fan of and The Preacher's Wife. And this one has like a lenticular. Um, so here's that Batman Forever I was talking about. So this is my original copy, which is miss missing the, the outer case and artwork. Um, Home Alone 3. Um, the Best of James Bond 30th Anniversary Limited Edition. It's a two disc set. Cocktail. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Glory, Ocean's Eleven, Stand By Me, here's the other copy of Last of the Mohicans, so that'll be for sale if you're interested, uh, The Wizard of Oz, Idle Hands, Field of Dreams, alright, coming to a close, Frozen, Bohemian Rhapsody, Arbengeddon, Halo, I don't know if I should have included this original soundtrack. Well, it is a soundtrack, I guess. Uh, Beavis and Butthead Do America. Another Armageddon, so that'll be for sale if you're interested. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. And Garden State, another great one. So yeah, that's all of the CD soundtracks. I might as well go ahead and show off these um, uh, vinyl ones as well. If I can reach them all. I'll just do a half here at once. One of my favorites in my collection, we got Rudy, um, which I didn't show off a CD. It was um, one of the DVD CD combos um, so I have the, it's in with the DVDs, um, but this I got signed, uh, thanks to friend of the show, Cody, by, um, writer of the film, Angelo Pizzo. So, um, yeah, and it's gold and it's, I'm just a huge fan of this movie. So, um, yeah, I had to get that when I saw it. Another favorite in the collection, we got Home Alone. This is a Mondo release. This goes for some good money now, um, but I luckily got it. Uh, right when it kind of released um, but yeah one of my favorites in my collection and I listen to it every Christmas um, the next two are donations which are really awesome by Lewis again um, so thanks so much Lewis um, we kind of share this love of um, soundtracks and collecting them and just music plays such a pivotal role in a lot of films and um, it's just a huge part of the movies so um, yeah anyways uh, this is They Live and The Fog. So some awesome John Carpenter action there. You got the sound of music. Grease. Mary Poppins. I think some of these might have been left in the attic by a previous owner. Uh, Cinderella, these um, Disney ones. Treasure Island, which is pretty neat. The Wind and the Lion. Good movie. Oh, about had another takedown 
I don't have, here we go. I'll put this back here. And I'll set them there. Okay. Um, just watched this for the first time and really enjoyed it. So really happy I have this now. Um, we got Footloose, which has really good music in it too. Uh, Flash Dance. Peter Pan. We got some Deliverance with Dueling Banjos, which is awesome. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia. Rocky. Some more Bill Conti. And some more here, too, with Paradise Valley, which I haven't watched yet. Or Paradise Alley, sorry. Um, bought this just because of Jay-Z. Um, I think this came out before any of his albums. We got Streets is Watching. Um, the vinyl, which I do have the DVD I haven't checked out yet. Uh, next up, I don't think, is actually the soundtrack. I think it's just music that they did. But we got some Blues Brothers, so I included it. Um, another great one with Beverly Hills Cop. Some Neil Diamond and Jazz Singer. Some Death Wish 2, um, which has music by Jimmy Page. Another one with great music, we got Scarface. Didn't really enjoy this movie too much, thought it was going to be better, but pretty cool looking soundtrack. We got The Flamingo Kid. Another great one here with The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Risky Business. Rocky IV. Easy Rider. For Your Eyes Only, The Graduate, I have a little somewhat damaged to that. All right, a few more here. Gardens of the Galaxy, the deluxe vinyl edition. Uh, I don't really care for this movie too much. I know a lot of people love it, but we got 2001 A Space Odyssey. I think that was my parents. Um, Jungle Book. I think this was theirs as well. Um, Alice's Restaurant. I don't know. haven't really listened to that either. Um, this is Hugo Montenegro and his orchestra. I might have said that wrong. <laughs> Music from A Fistful of Dollars and few, for a few dollars more, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which is awesome. Um, we got Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid with some Burt Bacharach. And we got some Pink Panther. I think I just got that cheap or something. And then we got Goldfinger, which I love uh, the the main scene by song by Shirley Bassie or Basie, um, who did multiple um, Bond music. So yeah, that's everything in the Physical Media Man soundtrack collection. Um, it is kind of growing, and um, I really had a lot of fun getting ones that uh, mean a lot to me and ones I really wanted to have in my collection and um, support movies so well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this because I've been wanting to make this for a while. And like I said, I really enjoy collecting soundtracks. Um, and I don't get them from every movie or anything like that, but um, I do try to get the ones that I really enjoy the music when I'm watching the film. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other ideas of things you want to see um, collection-wise or anything like that, um, please leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to accommodate. Um, so, yeah, this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical media man, physical media man, physical media man.